Hello, welcome back to my haunted library and welcome to another Creepy Crate unboxing. This is, uh, I think, my third or fourth Creepy Crate, so thank you very much, Creepy Crate, for sending this to me. I can't even talk now. And remember to get $5 off your first Creepy Crate order. Just use the code here. Happy to help. So let's see what we have. Uh, I have not opened this yet. I only broke the seal. So here we go. Ta-da! All right, so already I'm seeing a scary, creepy-looking sticker that has piqued my interest. So let's see what the card says. Now, as, <laughs> as I've said many times, I rarely get any of the, the hints on here because I just am not that up on newer things, but I'm going to try. Hopefully there's some, like, old stuff in here. Oh, here we go. The year 2000 was feared for many reasons. I was just talking about the year 2000 in my Hellraiser video about how it doesn't feel like much has changed since then, but of course a lot has, you know, styles and that kind of thing. All right, the crash of internet, the crash of internet, oh, like the, um, the dot-com crash or something, the onslaught of boy bands. We'll have to ask Bertilda about that. Although I do wonder if my Greta Van Fleet obsession is a, bit of a boy band <laughs> just saying I can't wait for that concert and the butterfly hair clips to name just a few I never had used butterfly hair clips but I do remember them simultaneously the universe gave us some of the scariest films of all time y2k trends have made a comeback even if some should should have stayed in the past trends will come and go but a film that haunts our nightmares never go out of style it's very interesting that I was just speaking about this so a little prophetic all right so number one a new read, Nantucket Penny, by Stephen Axelrod, or Graveyard of Lost Children. Which one did I get? Oh, Nantucket Penny. So Nantucket Penny, by Stephen Axelrod, follows police chief Henry Kennis as he tries to figure out who has been kidnapping Nantucket High School alumni from the town. Okay, so this sounds like it might be like a series, like a mystery series. And I love a good mystery, and I haven't read a good mystery in a while, so... Of course, I have other books from Creepy Crate that I've yet to read, but I don't know. This cover might catch my eye. I do love orange covers. All right, next. Oh, I feel something else here. Okay, the ebook download is called Lingo by Jim Menick. In 1991, Lingo conjured a vision of computers that gained sentience as friends and enemies. As fears of Y2K grew, few might have realized how Menick's visions predicted today's era of chat, GBT, and AI. It's going to become more and more part of our lives, and I really kind of hate it. it makes me think of Hal in 2001. Anyway, I'm becoming less involved in technology as I mature, and I couldn't be happier about that. Ooh, I got a, a tote bag. But anyway, the book sounds interesting. Sorry to digress. Uh, number three, Captain Spaulding's Museum Tote Bag. Oh, my gosh. Now, this I know. This is from the Rob Zombie films. Well, this is pretty cool. Check that out. I didn't see all of these films, but I've seen a few. Uh, Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men Ride My Famous Murder Ride. Exit 13, of course, off Route 1 at Rugsville. Fried chicken and gasoline. I will find excellent use for this. This is perfect tote for putting my creepy crate stuff in, my books, to remind me to read them. This is awesome. Thank you so much. And you can have your own, very own, tote bag by ordering a creepy crate and use my discount. This is great. Thank you. All right, what's next? Number four. Swing away pint glass. Okay, here we go. Uh, I have a lot of pint glasses in my house because my husband loves Guinness. All right, uh, you might need to pour yourself a pint when you think of all the red flags. Preacher Graham here tries to, oh, here ignored in signs. Oh, this is going back. We were just talking uh, on the podcast that Dr. J, Demon Hunter, we have a Bookworms podcast bookworms hey this would be a nice addition to creepy crate i'm just saying if creepy crate if you're watching let's talk 
Anyway, uh, yeah, we were just talking about signs. That movie, M. Night Shyamalan movie, was shot in James's hometown, in Newtown, PA, which is a town I'm very familiar with. So it's just a few miles from here. Okay, now I do remember this. It's coming back. Awesome. When the aliens come, pour yourself a good Guinness and just sit back. Enjoy the ride if you can. All right, what's next? This is a good crate. Together forever. Ginger snaps together forever embroidered patch. I don't, I don't know ginger snaps. I know it's like a movie or something. Ugh, let me know in the comments below. I'll check it out. They might have been death-obsessed outcasts, but at least sisters Ginger and Bridget understood each other. This patch honors the strong bond of sisterhood with or without lycanthropic tendencies. Okay, I, you know, I've definitely heard of Ginger Snaps. I've just never watched it. Okay, but that's very cool. Uh, the Grudge Sticker. Oh, that's what I saw. This has such good stuff. I wish this was a magnet. I love The Grudge. The Grudge Sticker. We decided to find out what happened when you combine Lisa Frank's aesthetic. Oh, Lisa Frank, I've heard of that artist. With the spookiest horror movie of the Y2K era. Really? It was that long ago? The holographic stif sticker will remind you to let go of your anger before it grows deadly. You know what? I just bought myself a new notebook. Every time I finish up a horror novel or one of my novels, I buy a notebook for like the final edit. This is going on the notebook and it even matches the notebook I bought. It's like I bought a black composition book with little sparkles on it. This is perfect for my book, Carney. Thank you. This is turning out to be like a really prophetic crate. Number seven, the stranger phone charm. It's a phone charm. Oh, it is a charm. Oh, cool. It's really tiny. I think it's probably about time. Oh, my nails. I didn't do my nails. Sorry. Uh, I probably time that I pull out my charm bracelet, add a charm. Uh, if you watch The Strangers as a kid, I didn't watch The Strangers as a kid, but I was an adult in 2020. If you watch The Strangers as a kid, that's a little after my time, the chances are you were terrified of being home alone. Heck, if you watch it today, you probably will be too. Travel back to the time of the phones, of flip phones, with this charmingly spooky rendition of the terrifying Home Invaders. I don't know that show, but I like the charm. It's very cute. And finally, Umbrella Core Wristband. Not everyone makes it out of Raccoon City, but with your new Umbrella Corp Livestrong style bracelet, you might stand a chance. The case of the zombie apocalypse, your new accessory will be necessary to survive. I don't know Umbrella Corp either. I know the Umbrella, what is the thing about the kids? The, oh God, the Umbrella Academy. I watched that, <laughs> some of that. See, I'm terrible. But hey, I don't wear these type of wristbands because they do irritate my skin, but I might know someone who might enjoy that. Okay, so thank you, Creepy Crate, for this wonderful box of goodies. I really love that tote bag. I'll put that into good use. And the book, I'm really looking forward to reading it and digging through these other things. It was really fun. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by my haunted library, and I'll see you soon. Bye!